think is the most sought after Chris? Well, if it's got to it's got to be Evans or Hemsworth. Evans or Hemsworth. I don't know about Evans anymore because he had a giant flop with Buzz. I haven't seen him much. I honestly haven't seen him much since Captain America. So like, I'm sort of like. But I'm just going off attractiveness. I mean, if you ask me to pick which two Chris Pine, Chris's I want, I'll have Hemsworth and Brian. Thanks. I Hemsworth and Evans. Thanks. But not Pratt. I thought. You, you know. No, look. I, I, uh, I mean Hemsworth. I'm going because it's Aussie. I've got to do Aussie pride. And Chris sure. Evans is just Captain America. It's it's, it's America's ass. I've got to but, put it there. Uh, Ryan doesn't like comedians. Eh, I like comedians. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, that's that, that's what it is. Yeah, like, the, uh, past the comic is an indication of yeah. the uh, the uh, is an indication of I don't like, I don't like. Uh, yeah. I prefer I prefer Evans and Hemsworth at the yeah. same time. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're listening, guys, uh, if you're listening, right, guys, Ryan's if you're address listening. is yeah. send us an email to the truth of fiction at gmail <laughs> No, well, look. If he wants to meet Chris Hemsworth, he just needs to go up to to Byron, Byron Bay. Bay. Byron Bay, and apparently, you just you'll just run into it. Yeah. Or what we do now? This is what we do, Chris, because because Chris Hemsworth, the school that his kids go to, he has to be hands on to go to that school. Yep. We get Ryan to adopt a small child, <laughs> enroll him or her in the school that Chris Hemsworth sends his children to. And then they can both have canteen duty together. <laughs> and it, it, this is it, kind it, of so, like a really cool rom com. I like it. it. it, I it, like it. Look, I, I'm I'm going to go on a limb to say that that school's probably very hard to get into now. I would I would say that that's probably there's probably some sort of waiting list. We find Ryan a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you know, did you see? Okay, I, there's a and you know what? And the plot of the a... movie is I actually fall in love with the husband while I'm trying to get to Chris Hemsworth. That is the perfect rom com. <laughs> you realize the thing you're chasing isn't what you want. It's and it's actually Thomas. Chris Evans. It's been Thomas all along. <laughs> and you know what? And, because and we're going to steal from 80s films, he's going to stand outside your house with a boombox over his head. <laughs> Or yes. he's going to run across a bridge in the rain to meet you. Nah, I prefer that, actually. Mm. Yeah, that'd be more... And you know what? He's going to be that Hugh Grant kind of, like, <laughs> like apologetic, like, oh, I'm sorry, terribly sorry. Um, yes, yes, uh, yes, fine. Uh, look, um, and, and he's going to be, like, the most bumbly mm, mm, librarian. Let's, let's make so, him a librarian. So, okay, so, and he's played by Andrew Garfield? That's fine. I'll take that as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not Andrew Garfield. Who am I thinking of? Well, they're going to be British. No, they're going to be British, but it's not going to be Andrew Garfield. We need another British actor. Uh, no, Tom Holland. <laughs> not Tom Holland. Too young. No, he's a bit too young. young. He's a bit young. <laughs> hey, he's almost 30. Jeez. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Jeremy Irons. <laughs> oh, Jeremy the old Irons is Thomas. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. Older love. Well, I mean, he was, he was Alfred. So I'm, I'm dead. I mean, and, and, there's already the Batman connection yes. there. And his voice has got that. He, and he'll be like a sad, he'll be like, oh, I'm terribly sorry about the, the <laughs> library book. Yes. Well. <laughs> and he is also in my favorite Die Hard movie as well, the villain in the Die, uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Well, let's set it up. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is the perfect movie. Um, copyright, copyright now, stories. Now, <laughs> okay, now here's the, here's the thing Are we going with a feel good story? Or rom com based upon now the child acting is the key. Do you go with a comedian child, or is it more of a feel good drama based upon the acting of the child? What are we What are we aiming for here? Uh, no, I, I, w- I want to go for both because because I want I want the child to be covering up his hurt with co- comedy, mm-hmm. and then he has that moment of, mm. of you know yes 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 he just now, lets it down. It has hurt. to be a female okay. feeling a feeling of a, a female mm-hmm. orphan absolutely. Mm-hmm. Parents died in a vicious shark attack, <laughs> and she hates Byron Bay, but she won't tell you why. Mm. And then when she realizes why, then you know that's, that's the realization. Then it's the realize. Then you know Jeremy Irons, Thomas will come and go. There are no sharks that can withstand me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, so coming this summer, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, exactly. So like, we've, like... we've, we've, we've just got the synopsis. We haven't even got the script. <laughs> Unless you wanted to be like one of those movies where they just turn up for filming and there's no. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not doing a Taika Waititi. We're doing <laughs> oh, this properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow i don't even remember what we were talking about before that 